Now, here we see a neat summary of some of the things that we've learned so far. First of all, <clears throat> this formula here, which is something that we need to learn by heart. That is, that the number of moles of a substance is equal to the mass of the substance divided by the molar mass. In other words, N, the number of moles, is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. Now that links down here to this summary. And what it means is that <clears throat> if we know the mass, then we can divide uh, by the molar mass to produce the number of moles, to calculate the number of moles. And if we know the number of moles, then we can multiply that by Avogadro's number, and that will give us the number of particles. If we know the number of particles, what we can do is divide by Avogadro's number, 6.02 by 10 to the 23, and <clears throat> that will produce the number of moles. If we've got the number of moles, we can then find the mass of those moles. Why? By simpler or how? By uh, multiplying by the molar mass. And that will produce the mass of this number of particles. Now notice the central position of moles. We can convert from moles to particles and moles to mass. Very, very difficult though to convert the number of particles directly to the mass. First step always is to convert to moles. This is a very handy summary to keep in mind. This is a very important formula to keep in mind.